2021 is going to be a pivotal season for countless stars in the NFL. But how about the nine biggest make or break players for this upcoming season? Starting with number nine, Baltimore Ravens wide receiver Hollywood Brown. Look, the Ravens a couple of years ago drafted Marquise Brown thinking he was going to be that speed demon, that true number one that would help Lamar Jackson, that would fly down the field, that would be that difference maker for Baltimore. So far, he has had the Keyshawn Johnson act of throw me the damn ball. He's complained about balls being thrown in his direction, but he hasn't done anything on a consistent basis. I mean, these numbers, pedestrian. You got to remember, Sammy Watkins just signed in Baltimore. They have Mark Andrews. Hollywood Brown is going to enter this season as the number three option. That's not good enough for a first round pick. I believe in him. I love his talent. I think the Ravens are going to be strong this year. It's make or break here without question. How about a number eight, Juju Smith Schuster? I mean, when you want to be a TikTok star instead of a football player, you're going to get a very chilly reception on the open market as a free agent. When you're more interested in stomping on logos than playing ball, you know, a team like the Jets or the Giants or the Miami Dolphins, not even going to call your agent. Listen, going back to Pittsburgh to me makes no sense for Juju, makes no sense for the Steelers. Listen, he can play. In the past, he's had a great attitude when he was the number two, but... Listen, when he was in number one, he inherited a lot of those social media values that he learned from Antonio Brown. I mean, I hope Juju's humble. You know, Kansas City wanted him, Baltimore wanted him, but that was it. No one was willing to give him a two-year deal. No one was willing to give him mega bucks in terms of cash. And he's not long for the world in Pittsburgh after this season. So not hyperbole to call this make or break. Number seven, new Indianapolis Colts quarterback Carson Wentz. Listen, I think Wentz is going to be a star. We know he was a star in round two. Obviously, the season in Philly where they won the Super Bowl in 2017. He was going to get my MVP vote before he shredded his knee. That season, he played under Frank Reich, who's now the coach for the Indianapolis Colts, who called the plays. A lot of reasons why he was the worst quarterback in the NFL last year, and they weren't excuses as much as they were legit reasons. You know, 2019, he was excellent down the stretch in the season last year, debacle. You know, now, Quentin Nelson in that offensive line. Jonathan Taylor, T.Y. Hilton, Michael Pittman, no excuse in a make-or-break season for Carson Wentz, and I firmly believe he will deliver. Number six, Buffalo Bills pass rusher, Ed Oliver. When the Buffalo Bills drafted Ed Oliver, I was so excited I wanted to jump through a table. Ed Oliver really hasn't done much. And when you start looking at the defense and getting better and getting over the hump and being better than Kansas City, you know, if Ed Oliver lives up to potential, he could really be a difference maker. You watch him play, you look at the stats, and eh, this is the ninth overall pick a few years ago. This is make or break for our guy, Ed Oliver. Number five, Odell Beckham Jr. Look, Odell Beckham Jr. was not brought to Cleveland by the current general manager or the current head coach, and Andrew Berry is a gem, and Kevin Stefanski is a gem. And whether it's perception, reality, fair or unfair, Baker Mayfield seemingly is better when Odell's not there. And the Cleveland Browns have very high hopes. They are locked and loaded, great talent, great coach, and Without Odell, they were amazing down the stretch of last season, won a playoff game. I think this is absolutely unequivocally make a break for Odell Beckham Jr. in Cleveland. Number four, Dallas Cowboys running back Ezekiel Elliott. Listen, I was stunned how atrocious Zeke was last year. Ezekiel Elliott has been a rock star in his first five years in the National Football League, but... Listen, this this was atrocious. Career lows when you look at Zeke. And you know, there's a guy in, you know, other seasons, three of the prior four, over 1,300 yards, led the league in rushing twice. You know, Zeke was such a bell cow for Jason Garrett for all those years. And, you know, I, you could make the case that everything just went wrong in Dallas last year. But Zeke didn't have the burst, didn't live up to the contract. I believe that he will have a bounce-back season. 
but he better, or with that offense and Dak Prescott getting his contract, Zeke is not going to be long for the world in Big D. I think he's going to bounce back. I think that I've always argued that he's a great running back. He's a star. He deserves more credit compared to other running backs in the NFL. Deserves more credit. When you look at the pecking order for Dallas Cowboys, talented ball players, but he's got to produce. Number three, how about Raiders pass rusher Cleveland Farrell? This was, if you remember, a legit whoa moment. Mike Mayock, John Gruden, no mock draft believe this was going to be the fourth overall pick now a couple of drafts ago and Farrell has been quiet, very quiet over the first couple of years of his career. Again, in theory, like Ed Oliver, his upside should help alleviate a weakness for his football team, but two sacks last year? Nah, that's not going to cut it. Number two, for the sake of fairness, is Sam Darnold. Now, I think Sam Darnold is going to be amazing. I think he's going to be dynamite. I think Sam Darnold got jets, okay? I think he goes to Carolina uh, under Matt Rule and Joe Brady with Robbie Anderson, with Moore, with Christian McCaffrey. I think he lives up to the hype to being the third overall pick in 2018 to what he was supposed to be coming out of USC. I think he's going to be dynamite. He better be. Or else he's not going to be starting quarterback in the NFL ever again. I think he's going to be great. He's going to be entrenched. You know, he's, he's going to be phenomenal in Carolina. But I do have to acknowledge that he's pretty high up here when you start talking about make or break ball players. My number one make or break player for this upcoming season, Giants quarterback Daniel Jones. I mean, I never in a million years would have drafted Daniel Jones with that sixth overall pick a couple of drafts ago. And since he's come into the league, all he's done is throw it to the wrong team and turn it over and play hot potato with the football. And, you know, Kenny Galladay, I love that move by Dave Gettleman. For the sake of fairness, the Giants now have a deep and talented receiving core. Saquon Barkley's coming back. Joe Judge can coach. I don't think the Giants have their quarterback. And listen, these numbers, I mean, look at that touchdown to interception ratio. They are unfortunate. They're pedestrian. They're unacceptable. And if Daniel Jones doesn't get it done, the Giants are going to have to find another quarterback for 2022. And the guy who drafted him is going to be out of a job.